Terminator 2 is kind of on the other side of that. Yeah, they made they made so much money from the first yeah. one that they're like throwing money at him. When Terminator like, 2, it, when it came it. out, had the biggest budget for a movie ever at that point in time. So it makes sense that they were able to do a lot more stuff. But, but I think people need to stop comparing to that movie. That yeah. is, it's, it's an unreachable goal. Yeah. I, I think movie. it's fair to say that when you put James Cameron at the helm, the odds are you're going to get an awesome film. Not always. Not always. But the odds but are the odds are good. They're good, yeah. I mean, he's got the not only the two Terminators under his belt, but he's got uh, Titanic mm -hmm. and Aliens and Avatar. Say what you want about Avatar, but it is number two. No, wait a minute, it's number one. Titanic's number two. Av okay. Avatar is the highest grossing movie of all time. It has made more money than any other film out there, ever. I thought Deadpool was. Nope. That's the great, that's the best rated R movie. Oh, I thought that was like made the most money because it was on such a low budget that the. Mm -mm. Oh. Nope. And then I also thought that uh, episode seven broke a record. Uh, episode seven is on the list, but it didn't beat those. Avatar's really tired. Yep, Avatar and Titanic wow. still made more. Hmm. So yeah, but James anyways. Cameron. I cannot wait for Terminator 6. You are the man. I have absolute faith that you're going to turn out an awesome movie, especially now that we've got Linda Hamilton back in the picture. Mm. So That's yeah. going to be one. I'm, I'm very, very excited for Terminator 6. Who knows? I might even, like, you know, suit up for it or something. <laughs> um, I do have a question. What do you think about the action scenes? Like, say, the fight, the big fight at the end. With, um, between John and the Terminator. I actually really enjoyed that, and I like the way it ended as well with the... Uh, you know, Arnold sacrificing himself yet again, but then falling into the goop and becoming a T-1000. I thought that was incredibly clever. I wasn't expecting that at all. I, I kind of had a hint about it, because I have premonition sometimes about ways movies are going. I mean, when I saw Titanic, I just knew. I had this weird inkling the ship was going to sink. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. Oops. Fortunately, um, we already did the Titanic, so there's already a spoiler there. Yeah. <laughs> um... I did have an inkling that they were going to do... When they showed the goop, I had a feeling, I'm like, that's going to have something to do with Arnold. They're going to make it... Yeah, and I have a feeling. But it was still a really great I surprise. I thought they were going to use that to bring, like, John Connor back or, you know, have another machine rise from, from the goop at the end of the movie or something like that. To I, be, like, a to-be-continued. Yeah. I mean, and they kind of did that in the end credits, but it wasn't nearly as spectacular as seeing Arnold as a T-1000. Sadly, now they're not going to be able to do anything with that. But, you know, when you've got a good guy being the T-1000, I mean, what are they going to do to fight him? You know, what are the, what are the machines going to produce other than another T-1000? So That's why I didn't really like 3, you know, because nothing really beats the T-1000, and they tried to outdo it with the next one in yeah, I, I thought Yeah, I thought the TX was an interesting upgrade for a bad guy, but it wasn't as cool as the T-1000. No, I just, I didn't like it. It was it, still too easy to defeat, as far as... You know, it didn't have as much capability as the T-1000. T-1000 could form into anything. It could be smashed into a million pieces yeah. and still survive. And that's TX the can't. You're not going to be able, you, you can't top the T-1000. No, you can't. Not, not, not in the Terminator universe. And that was so, one of the things is that... The, stop trying. The T-3000 <laughs> wasn't as great as the T-1000. No. But it was still a great last fight between the T-3000 mm -hmm. and yeah. the 800. I thought it was great. It was climactic. It was wonderfully done. When John Connor was like going through the T the T eight hundred, and it was like it was really oh. cool, really cool. Just like uh, when he, they used the what was that an MRI or C A T mm -hmm. scanner machine, and mm -hmm. he was like trying to yeah. walk that was from all, it. That was, was also like, a great scene and very clever. I thought that was really well done. I liked the whole little like nano machine kind of yeah. thing that they did. Yeah, it was really interesting. Lots of cool things in this movie. That was probably... I don't understand, you know, you've got all this nifty stuff going on in this movie, and everyone just kind of overlooks that and focuses on the negative. But, I mean, that's a reflection of today's society, I guess. Well, what's funny, though, is that movies that we feel the way that they feel about this movie, it's, like, completely swapped. Like, Logan. We hate Logan. Everybody loves it and says, oh, my gosh, it's so in yeah. inventive. Maybe we're just weird. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Because they say Logan's inventive, but, but we think it's weird, total... you wouldn't be watching this. <laughs> we thought it was a total copy. All you normal people can go to hell. <laughs> Let me finish. 
Logan was a total copy, and yet everybody says this movie's a total copy, but we feel it's completely original with only the copying of the first scenes, which was brilliant. Yeah. So we don't quite understand. Why, world? Why are you so backwards? Why, Lisa? Why? Why? Another great movie. <laughs> We're not doing a review on that one. Well, no, because we agree with the okay, masses. Yes. So, okay, to are, sum are up... We are we ready to wrap this up? Yeah, to sum up, we love this movie, um, despite its few flaws. We do not agree with the masses. Uh, we own it. We will probably watch it here pretty soon, because talking about it has Maybe got me tonight. interested. Yep. It's got me in the mood <laughs> to watch it again. She's in the mood. Okay, we should probably get going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll be back.